Hello from Berlin, and this is a Schwarzel Wurzel. Um, I keep being encouraged things I read to try everything wherever I am that's in the the local shops, and I saw this in this wonderful shop called Bio or Bio, which means everything is organic. So I thought, aha! And I thought it was one of those licorice sticks or something, but it wasn't. I asked what it was, and she wrote that, she wrote it down on a piece of paper for me. Schwarzel Wurzel. And the people in the queue all started chatting and I said well you know what do you do and they sort of made these peeling motions and I said oh do you put it in soup and they said mm, yes you could put it in soup so then I said well what do you use it for and so they chatted among themselves and then the answer came back butter which was not what I was expecting so I got more and more curious so we brought this home and look, looked it up and played around with it um, and uh, online and it's called saltsify in English uh, the weird word saltsify sounds like a noun doesn't it? a verb rather um, and and then I started reading about what to do with it and that's when it got I got even more curious because apparently you have to wash it first and then put some gloves on that you're going to throw away afterwards and then preferably outside um, very quickly get the bark off and then apparently it oozes this sort of um, green what's the stuff inside a plant Sap. sap that is sticky and claggy and, and orange and, and horrible and you have to quickly one person said actually hose it hose it off so i don't know what where we're going with this but it's going to be fun and i'll i'll keep you informed on that and then this is something else that i simply had to buy i'm calling it a broly flower because it looks to me like a cross between a cauliflower and broccoli so i'll tell you how that tastes now you can see behind me i'm um trying to grow um, basil in the car. I've got a lovely healthy basil plant and I'm ripening up my mango and my um, avocado there. This is actually the second time I've done this today so it's very annoying because I wanted to be doing it outside like someone suggested but I ended up just filming it from here outwards which was so annoying. So anyway, this is something else we bought which um, again I haven't seen. I thought well I'll, I'll get those. Um, little yellow fruits. And they, they've got a bit of a bitter taste to it, but they're okay. Um, and they had a funny word with PH in it, and I've thrown away the packets, so I can't tell you, but I will chase those and find out what they are. So we arrived at Berlin um, two days ago, and we tracked down Raw Tastic in Berlin yesterday, which is quite famous because it's all raw. And uh, we weren't disappointed. It was absolutely wonderful. Uh, it was quite a cold day, and it's the sort of day you really wanted a nice warm stew or soup, but you know, Martin was thinking, oh, I've got to have a raw lunch. But actually, he really enjoyed it, didn't you, Martin? Yeah. <laughs> Said with enthusiasm. Well, we walked in, and uh, let's just show you the wall. That was on the wall, you know, wallpaper. Oh, it, well, actually, it was real bits of wool, I think. Oh, it wouldn't be wool, but it would be plastic anyway all green and a wonderful menu which I've copied because I want to try and recreate a lot of it and I had a, a bottle of this kombucha which was new and they brew their own and apparently we googled it while I was drinking it it's got a probiotic it's really good for the tummy it's sparkly and it's made from tea and the sugar turns to um, the culture the acid which is you know fermented and that's why it's good for you and to make your own, you buy what's called a SCOBY at great expense, and you, you grow your own culture, and then you can keep using it like the yoghurt thing. And then Martin, ever the biologist, said, aha, but if we take this bottle home, this bottle, which I was drinking, home, we can make our own, because there's enough bacteria in that bottle, you know, it's easily make more. Uh, he really knows what he's talking about, which is so reassuring. So that's what we did. I snuck the bottle in my bag, and... Um, they do do workshops and things, but sadly I've missed all of them. And so we're going to we're going to have to buy white sugar for it uh, to make our kombucha, unless we can find any other way of making it. And then you flavour your tea or you put green tea, whatever tea you want. And um, it makes this lovely sort of, like almost cocktail type drink. It's fizzy, it's got a quite pleasant taste, it's not sweet. This might be the drink I've been looking for. And it's really, really good for you. Fantastic. So, um, on to our meal at Raw Tastic. This is what I had, which was a platter of cauliflower wrap um, with something lovely inside, 
uh, gorgeous falafels, which I want to learn how to make, all raw, really tasty. The pizza was incredible. They used the crust, which they dehydrate for 12 hours in a dehydrator, which is something that crops up occasionally in some of the things that I've been reading. You put things in and it takes the moisture away. You can make banana crisps and things, but it also makes like a flapjack. So it take the moisture away and you've got a lovely sort of chewy crust. So that's sort of how they make their breads, really. Um, and lovely stuff on top for the pizza. All the taste was just so piquant and beautiful. Um, the, um, so the falafel, oh yeah, a burger, which they called a schmurger, it was made of mushroom. It was very, very tasty. Uh, I was less keen on that. I think I've had so many different veggie burgers. It was really good though. But probably the, the best thing, apart from the falafel, actually, and the pizza, was the Tex-Mex in the corner, which Martin had as, as a main. And that was on a bed of carrot, um, spicy beans, avocado, and lovely hot sauce. Really, really nice. So we enjoyed that so much. And then we had to have the sharing platter pudding, even though we were quite full, um, just for the reasons of research. And there you see the homemade brownie, the, the homemade chocolate, um, lovely goji berry um, and avocado mousse, and amazing chocolate peanut cheesecake, which Martin had nearly all of which was great so that was so so good while we're on the subject of where to go in towns i forgot to say on the berlin on the um cologne tape and i will add it to the notes so people can find it there's this wonderful thing called the bio met school cooking um i'll just get the exact name of that no the bio gourmet club bio gourmet club in cologne it's vegan friendly um, that day they were going to do Chinese vegan and what they do is they teach you in the morning there's a three-hour course you learn um, how to make the meal and then you eat it together the whole thing's like 15 euros which is what a meal is anyway and I was really excited about doing that that morning but Pip couldn't come along because it wasn't a dog friendly kitchen understandably it was an open kitchen so that's one we had to let go but if anyone's in Cologne um, I would definitely recommend doing that that was something really good um, I'm making all my own stock with um, vegetable leavings that, that I, um, when I'm chopping and everything, I just boil it up and there's always a bottle in the fridge, obviously after it's cooled down, to use for soups in the future or any time I need water. I'm also keeping all my own fibre from juicing, which, because it's just too good to throw away, um, I'm only juicing three or four times a week when we have hookup, but you have like pineapple, carrot, apple, um, cucumber, all this lovely luscious fibre. Um, so I've been making fibre nut burgers and stuffings and things um this is one thing i must admit martin threw his hands up and literally said no more fiber so um i'm having my own fiber nut burgers every now and then they really taste gorgeous another fruit we discovered was something that we looked up and translated as barberries which are like little cranberries which are quite tasty quite a different taste a cross between a cranberry and a raisin taste plump little berries which you hydrate in water you buy them dry so i've been throwing them into my energy bars in my muesli they've been lovely um two funny things happened in the van uh, typical like vegan problems in a camper van the first one was when i was trying to make that wretched coconut butter a while ago um i was melting up some coconut oil in a in a spoon over the flame and it tipped and spilt it on on the hob which which completely dried and and hardened and completely closed it down so that was quite a challenge with a lighter to try and melt it enough to then get it going so because it was lit it would then melt even more and it wasn't right for quite a few days but luckily it was all right now the other thing is yesterday bless him martin suddenly realized that he'd put almond milk in his cup of tea instead of cow's milk he said oh no and we were running low on water so um he said well i'll just wait and it will sink to the bottom and sure enough it did so he had his cup of tea did you put regular milk on top i did <laughs> he did so he had a cup of tea with his milk on top almond milk which has sunk to the bottom he was careful to not drink it's useful being a biologist isn't it? you know these things you know almond milk's going to sink we had a seaweed wrap one day made from my nori sheets and that's the stuff that goes around sushi. And I think the reason they cut sushi so small is because it's quite hard to sort of chew and swallow. That nori is weird. It's really quite odd. Um, in fact, so odd that Martha said next time, could he please have a whole wheat wrap? And I can, I can finish the, the nori sheets. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, um, update on my weight. I seem to have dropped about 10 pounds in two months. Every time I weigh myself, I'm like 0.2 of a pound down 
which you know it's the right direction isn't it it's going down so i'm pretty happy about that um two proud moments one was how to make my peanut soup there's a lovely recipe which i've made for years um peanut parsnip soup which you blend and i've even got a stick blender now but i've forgotten that day that i, I we weren't on hookup what was i going to do i had my bits of peanut my bits of parsnip floating around and oh god so I put it all in my little muslin nut bag and rolled it with a rolling pin and smashed it around and I pretty much pureed it then I got the smasher again, the old, um, you know, mashed potato smasher which we use for almost everything except mashed potatoes and I made a pretty reasonable peanut parsnip soup, pretty good. The other proud moment I had was the other day where it was uh, reached that three o'clock in the afternoon, slightly hollow feeling, we were driving to Berlin. Um, We'd had a good lunch. We tend to have lunches of leftover soups made from fibres and things and things from the night before, nut loaves and things in the fridge. It's really brilliant. We just stop, warm it up, and it's so nourishing and it's great. But it was about three o'clock, and um, I wanted a little pick me up, and we stopped and got diesel and went in and had a look. They had absolutely nothing in there, only massive, gorgeous-looking donuts, and I, I just wasn't really tempted by a donut because I knew I was vegan and. Um, it was nice because if I'd been on a regular diet, I, I, I would have been probably more more tempted. So in that respect, it, and I was quite proud of myself because I came back and I thought, well, I've got to eat something. Um, and so I just made a trail mix there and then. I just got handfuls of all the different nuts we've got, all the different seeds, which a lot of them, a lot of different seeds, chai, pumpkin, sunflower, sesame, all those different things, and all the dried fruits we've got. I made a really stonking trail mix. Um, which I just nibbled all the way through at the steering wheel as we as we drove through Berlin and it, it filled me up beautifully so I was really pleased at how I dealt with that um, I think that's pretty much I, I had another idea of something I was going to say what was it um, I'll have a look at my pictures and see if it comes to mind so we're going on a tour today of Berlin which I'm quite excited about um, it's sunny, it's very cold now, so um, things are changing. And oh, well, I know what I was going to tell you about. My um, When we went to, this was in Magdeburg, and there was one um, restaurant on Happy Cow that we tracked down, and it was uh, closed down. Tell me nothing. Oh, we were so sorry about that because it was so cold. And so Martin said, for goodness sake, let's go into this Italian place here and have something warm and it'll be fine. So we went in and there was absolutely nothing vegan on the menu at all. And this man came up and he had that can't do face, if you know what I mean. He starts to shake his head almost before you say, have you got? So when he heard that I didn't want any animal produce whatsoever, his face got more and more crestfallen and shaking his head and saying nothing 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 he pointed to green salad on the menu and said that's all we have green salad so i said well i have a green salad and then i looked at all the things that were listed in other dishes and i said well i have everything on it green salad with all the vegetables you've got on it um and then i noticed there was rosemary roast potatoes i said i'll have a portion of that as well so he went away shaking his head and i really didn't know what to expect i felt very depressed anyway this is what i got the biggest green salad I've ever seen with everything on it and an absolutely luscious side of roast rosemary potatoes which is now my absolute favourite way of having potatoes and it was a feast, it was one of the nicest meals I've ever had so I think I'll leave it there, things are going great um, on the vegan front as well and um, I'll chat to you later, there's a massive supermarket, one of the biggest in the world called Vegans with a Z, Vegans, which we're going to go to tomorrow and I'm going to try and pluck up courage and do an on location little clip because I think that would be very interesting, it sells all things vegan um, supermarket, so I'll talk to you then, bye!